Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to this week's patch note video where we're going to go through everything happening in RuneScape this week. Uh, we'll have to see what's going on. It, it, it just, it's when it says bundle in the title, it doesn't fill me with too much hope if that's the, the main focus of, of the week, but I guess we'll see. Uh, but let, let's let's find out. This is for the people who are driving to work, don't want to read it themselves, rather just listen to it uh, pretty much. And, and let, let's find out what's going on. So, uh, Easter has just wrapped up, but a new ectoplasm ritual and a uh, fanatical bundle arrive on the scene. So the ectoplasm, ectoplasm ritual is a good thing, of course. We've been waiting for this for a little while now. Um, so that's good. That maybe could have been the title, but let's see. F Fanatical Bundle. Okay, we are teaming up with Fanatical to bring you a stellar bundle of in-game goodie, uh, goodies, including the exclusive Fanatical Siren outfit. Fanatical is leading a uh, is a leading games platform on a mission to help players all over the world find amazing games at incredible prices. This is like an ad read that I'd do. Um, for like like Raid Shadow Legends or something. From April 8th until April 29th, you can pick up the bundle from their web store for 999 uh, GBP, 999 USD, and 999 Euros. Uh, it contains the following the uh, Fanatical Siren outfit, 200 rune coins, 35 treasured keys, five small, not is it three umbral chests? Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, it, it's. It's a set price, you know exactly what it is. It's the same override that we've had a few times already. Um, I think, let me check, hold on. Uh, customizations, pretty sure we have a siren outfit already. Yeah, we have two of them already. So it's the glacial siren, and this is kind of sad to see, bro. Like if you're gonna have a um, a bundle for someone and you want to like, you know, say, what do they call it? Exclusive, right? They said it was an exclusive. Uh, oh, that game's in the top corner. That's kind of annoying. Get rid of that. My bad, guys. Hopefully that's not. Oh, that's gone. Um, but yeah, so you've got you've got the the same override, and it says they're an exclusive. Like it's an exclusive color, I suppose. The outfit's not exclusive though. Um, <laughs> clearly, there you go. You can purchase your bundles here while it's live. Um, after purchase, you can receive redeem a redemption code. Head over to the redeem code page on the website, log into your account, and pop in the code. Cool. Yeah, I mean the orange does look nicer than the other colors. I'll give them that. The orange and black does look a lot nicer than the purple and the ice or whatever it is. But yeah, there you go. April 23rd, schedule maintenance. We had previously announced some maintenance for Tuesday, April 9th. Um, this has been rescheduled for April 23rd. All right. I guess that's all there is to know. That's pretty much it. No maintenance tomorrow. It'll be uh, much later in the month. Treasure Hunter calendar. Okay, so um, we have Mysteria, which starts tomorrow, and then we have Vault of Riches, which is going to come with these capes, I guess. Vault of Riches is set to open once more. Now you chance to get hold of the brand new Emerald, Ruby, Diamond, and Gold capes. Gold one kind of looks cool because of the um, animations. But these are all kind of okay because they might fit with your overrides. Um, mm, I bet this animation is probably going to be like the necromancy one though, where it's kind of just like static and not so flowy. But uh, there you go. There's some extra cosmetics if you're interested in that. Patch notes. Easter. Um, the Easter 24 track can now. The Easter 2024 track now correctly unlocks for any player who is either a new account or has not been to the Easter hub area after the event date. Okay. Uh, I've not really touched the Easter event, so I don't know too much about this. Uh, East decorations have been removed from the birth or prevent area. Okay. Um, oh, that, that had been removed. East, East decorations have been removed and the birth or area. Ah, the birth or prevent area has been removed. Okay. Uh, fixed an animation loop cycle for the Loves Me Loves Me Not Rest animation. Cool. April Fools has come to an end. Hopefully you're all well rested and can now bench uh, higher than ever before. Your bench sitting cape will be uh, still be accessible, but you won't be able to earn levels in the skill or acquire the cape. Check out the... Uh, Django store in Drainer to get your hands on some more awards for previous years. Perfect, there you go. Uh, I actually need to do this. I haven't done that yet. Uh, Necromancy, a new ritual has manifested in Um to help players gather up ectoplasm. It's called Manifest Ectoplasm and uh, will require level 95 Necromancy. 
When completed, it will reward 55 ectoplasm as a baseline. Perfect for restocking on supplies. So you get 55 ectoplasm, and then, of course, you can use the multiply as well. Um, this should bring the price of ectoplasm down quite quite a lot, I would say. And this is this is maybe a good moneymaker today. You'll have to check it out. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty good. 55, that makes like using necromancy a lot cheaper. It's nice. Conjures that have been conjured will no longer despawn when equipping um, the Lucky Spectral Spirit Shield. Fixed the blank sold out information message on mobile. Okay. Uh, roll it can now be tracked when standing on the bridge next to it. Uh, fix an issue with the tone of um, teleport charges being used even when the teleport was not successful. All right, that's kind of annoying. Players can no longer equip the Master Max Cape from the Keepsakes menu if their Necromancy level is below 120. Fix an issue that didn't allow players to use the XP lamp from the uh, Beneath the Qu Curses, uh, Curse Tides quest on Necromancy. And fix an issue that made Necromancy act like virtual leveling skill when using Space does on it. Nice, there you go. Uh, general, fix an issue that blocks certain abilities to play sound effects when cast. Uh, the cooldown, cooling down achievements description has been corrected for spelling. Another spelling thing with Barbarian Assault. Fixed blocking southwest of the Watchbirth Island. Uh, the members only icon has been removed from the uh, Lapis Lazuli Brute skill guide entry. Okay. Added the inv invitation box to the required item interface for the Dishonored Monk Thieves quest. When running out of crafting materials, the message will say exactly which material ran out. That's cool. Okay, Sentinel uh, of Bic no longer changes color when being called dismissed. Called or dismissed, not called dismissed, like it's not its name. Fix an issue that caused the inventory position to reset when consuming an item from the bottom of the inventory. Okay, so I guess if you scroll down, you would click it and then it'll go back up. Uh, community stuff, which is always cool to look at. Very cool. There you go. Right. Anyway, guys, hopefully you found this interesting. Um... Like I said at the beginning of the video, Fanatical Bundle is uh, the main focus this week. To be fair, I actually think the Ectoplasm Ritual is probably the biggest thing. It's not as exciting, I guess, now because pe most people are using like a lot of different styles, which is good. Like The game should be like that. We should be spread out across all the different styles. Uh, but this is good for Iron Men, for sure, right? Because you can now keep up with Ectoplasm a lot easier. It must have been a pretty big pain before to try and keep up with all the ectoplasm because you would have had to do loads of other rituals. Although I guess if you level to 99 or 120 with rituals, then you would probably have quite a lot anyway. Uh, but yeah, so that's done. Um, that, that's definitely cool. Other than that, yeah, I guess you got the gold capes to look forward to. And if you want the bundle, you can get it. But again, keep in mind, this is just a recolored version of something we already have in game. And for £10, $10 or €10, Euros, I don't know. Seems a little, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And other than that, I will catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.